How are you feeling? What do you like? What do you want? Other people ask us about ourselves all the time, and we seem to have no difficulty in answering most of the time. Self-knowledge seems readily available, but who or what makes the self? There's one school of thought that people create their own self, that is, by the choices you make. Existentialism, in particular, emphasized that you are defined by the decisions and the actions that you do. Another take is that you're born that way, that you're born with certain predispositions and tendencies, and that dictates the path you will become. A very different view is prevalent in some other social sciences, like sociology, where they say you are a product of your times and your circumstances. They say that society creates the individual. Society is a giant force, while each individual person is a tiny little product of that. You're created and shaped by historical and social forces, and there's not much you can do about it. Well, certainly there are cultural differences in how selves are understood, and there are historical differences. People yet also do make choices. So I think the answer of who or what makes the self is probably not going to boil down to one or the other. There's probably some combination. Of course, the sociologists and historians are right. To some degree, you're a product of your circumstances. And yet, uh, circumstances can mold people in all different ways. People pick and choose. Often, people reject the forces that operate on them. I like the metaphor that it's sort of like a buffet, that you can go to the buffet and choose what to eat. Society lays out the options, and that's what you have. You have to choose to eat from one, among what's there. But still, you do make choices, and so the product that ends up on your plate is both uh, a result of what society made possible and what you chose uh, within, among those choices and how you reacted within that framework.